Hi everyone, back with another plan with me. Finally, it's been a long time. I just thought I would show you some new things that I have quickly. Um, this is the new Erin Condren sticker pages. I got both um, sets. One thing one was called Geometric and one was, I can't remember the other name, but they're both really nice. They kind of remind me of um, like laminated sheets. I think that's called, you know, contact paper, that's what it is, contact paper that you used to cover your books with in primary school. Um, and I also got some new washi tape, my mum surprised me again, which was really exciting, so I've got all of these new ones on screen, which are, which are really nice, and I feature two new ones in this band with me, which is good. I'm just giving you a little quick um, shot from last week. I didn't plan too much because I was studying and I had exams, but I just did the second half of the week yesterday and really liked how it turned out because I was sort of doing some layering as opposed to my normal standard layout. Um, so that was really fun. And now this is all the washi tape I've got. It looks like a crap load, but if you have a look at some other people on Instagram who are real washy addicts then my stash won't look too bad. Just checking if I have any birthdays this week and I do have it's my pop's 79th birthday on Sunday which is really exciting. Happy birthday pop. You won't be watching this but the sentiment is still there. This is the new monthly spread for September, grey and purple. I believe they changed it, Erin Condren changed the colours in this current um, planner. I've got them for my washi table set out nicely. I spent a couple of minutes doing that to turn the camera on. Um, but yeah, this is Erin Condren's new layout for September. I believe they changed the colours for whatever reason. Here I'm just deciding what washi tape to use. I ended up just using the purple and the grey. I didn't end up using any thin washi tape this week as none really went with the colours that I liked. And I decided to change the washi tape up a bit this week and did some layering, which was fun. I thought this was, it looks quite grey, this washi tape on the roll, but when I laid it out on the page, it's almost a torpy kind of beige colour, which I didn't mind too much, too much. I think it still goes with the greys, they're a little bit, a little bit torpy in itself. And here I'm just putting some purple washi down. This is an one for me. They are really good quality. They've all come from Japan as well, which is the original washi nation. You could Tell me differently in the comments if I'm wrong on that one. cutting off but otherwise I think I've got everything which is really good. Um, I decided to use some of the Erin Condren sticker paper. They've got the lines on the back so all I did was measure it up with what I wanted. I decided to do it for the top of Saturday and Sunday just to have a little something different. Trying to let my creative juices flow and get out of my comfort box a little bit. Sorry about the headshot there. I should remember to wash my hair before I go and I feel playing with me. I also decided to use another of the sticker pages, but you'll see that later on. Just deciding here what weekend banner to use. These are from Maury's Sweet Addictions. She has a 
the Labor Day weekend sale, which could still be on by the time you see this. So have a look down below for her link. I believe her shop is closing on Monday. Oh, this is some, um, that sticker page was from my aunt. She surprised me with a couple of pages uh, on the weekend, which was really cool. Both, two of them were happy birthday ones, which are so much more practical than the current happy birthday one I have. They are much more stickers and much easier to use. Um, so thanks so much for that, Annie Shelley. And she also got me um, some stickers from Kiki K. Um, that sticker page you can see right there is my new set from Inspire Blush. They're just uh, little washi strips which you can use for the top of the boxes and um, whatever you want really. But I really liked the idea of layering this week. So I've used them for a couple of things. This is where it cut off a bit. I just added another couple of um, birthday things there and a happy birthday sticker from the Erin Condren sticker book. And I also added in um, a little travel sticker and a vegetable bag to indicate that we're going to the markets on the weekend. And here I'm just adding a couple of um, the stickers are added to the payday and a two buy on the left there, as well as a little washing machine on the right. Um, that little envelope sticker there is from Planner Gems, as well as the two buy and the payday. I'll have the shop down below. I still believe she's closed. I think she's catching up on some orders, but um, I really like her stickers and I think I'll be placing another order when she reopens. That little work sticker is from Inspired Blush from her pastel collection. I, um, instead of using that for a box header, I decided to indicate that I'm going to work after six days off, which was bittersweet in itself. I had to study, but also got to sleep in a tiny little bit, so that was kind of exciting. And so back to work tomorrow. Just putting in the weather off the top here using my Rory Sweet Addictions weather stickers. They are my favourite. Here I am just using my other sticker page that I started to use. I really like how it turned out, so I think I'll be using them more often. It took me a dang long while to get that sticker page off, so I've, I cut the clip here because it's taking me so long to get the backing off, but I finally did. And I just thought I'd cover it over that thoughtful note box at the top there, and I really like the way it looked. Here I am just putting some workout stickers down now that I'm off uni for the next best part of two months, which is so exciting. I'm going to get back into the swing of things of working out every day, which is very exciting in itself. I have really slacked over the last couple of months and it's time to get back into it. That too sticker is from Roy Sweet Addictions. It's a bit of a purple spread this week, which I didn't intend to, because usually I just go with my own thing colour-wise, but I kind of like the matchy-matchy this week. That um, sticker on the right there that I just put on, which is diagonal, is from Inspired Blush. It says Lazy Day. I really like it. I hope she um, does like a full set of those with just random things. I think that would be really cool. Um, I think this is our the first Sunday that we've got coming up where we don't have anything on and I don't have to be doing any studying or anything so that would be really exciting. Just filling out this two buy sticker. We have to do a big shop on Monday but I put the essentials down which um, is less quick for my husband. He's obsessed. I'm also putting down this quote sticker from Inspired Brush to get into the spring feeling. So excited that the weather's starting to warm up. I just put down a little mug there, and on the other side, I put down like a little coconut tropical drink. They're from Rory Sweet Addiction Summer 
um, sticker set. Um, I'm really looking forward to use them in the summer months. Hopefully I can find some Australian shops that will do some more spring and summer sets. There I just put down a Bill, Bill Dew sticker and here I'm putting another little washi strip from inside inspired blush and I'm wearing it over the top that says move forward. I just thought it was cute and I decided to put a little gold sticker down which you'll see in a minute and put some things that I've got planned for this week. call that a dashboard over on the left there which I think is kind of cool. I kind of want to be able to incorporate a little bit more each week so I might play around with washi tape and washi strips and see what I can do. Those little circle stickers, the top one's from Inspire Blush and the bottom one is from Planner Gems I believe. The top one's a little um, sticker of some credit cards. And here I'm just adding a few decorative things, one of the Erin Condren dot stickers and I'm using my Too Cool For School Erin Condren booklet to put in one for last week that says study which I thought was really nice and one for Saturday that says no time which you'll see coming up. And apart from one little gold sticker which will appear on the left, that's about it for this week. I really like the way it turned out, I thought I sort of got out of my comfort zone a little bit more. Um, and layered things and I really like it. So here's the final look. It's a little bit wobbly at the end but that's alright. If you like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll be sure to be back with more especially over the next couple of months. Let me know if you want me to do anything else, any hauls or um, anything like that. Let me know in the comments below and I will talk to you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching guys. See ya. Bye.